Hey everyone, it's John Reed here, author of 50 Things to See with a Small Telescope. In this video, I'm going to be answering a core question uh, that is entitled, What constellations are prominent during winter, summer, and spring? And I'll probably do fall too, just for fun. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is go here to Stellarium. And uh, this question I'm assuming is speaking of the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere down here, um, just reverse everything I say. Um, summer will be winter, fall will be spring. So uh, I'm here in Charlotte, uh, so this sky uh, will be the same at this latitude, but not a whole lot different if you go a little bit north or a little bit south of this location. But it will be the same east and west every night. Okay, so I've set the clock to January 15th. At 10 o'clock at night, I'm going to use 10 o'clock at night uh, as the evening because if you go to morning, that um, will be the sky, but it'll be as if it's in a different season, um, if that makes any sense. But anyway, so 10 o'clock at night um, in January, so I'm going to consider this winter in the northern hemisphere. And so if we're looking north, what constellations are prominent? So uh, down low in the sky, we've got the Big Dipper here, or Ursa Major. We've got Ursa Minor. And here's the North Star. And you can see Cassiopeia is an interesting constellation here. You've got some double clusters um, around this constellation, which are really interesting to look at. If we go to the west, we've got Andromeda. Um, in this constellation, you can find the Andromeda Galaxy if you've got a telescope. You've got Taurus and Perse Perseus. My apologies for the uh, pronunciations. I'm not so great at pronouncing things. Anyway, looking to the south, we have the sort of the pride of the winter constellations, which is Orion. Uh, always a treat. Point your telescope at the Orion Nebula right here. We've got uh, Gemini, which is the twins, Cancer, uh, Canis Major, and uh, Sirius, or Cirrus, which is a very bright star. Heading east, low in the sky, you've got uh, Leo and um, yeah, definitely some overlapping constellations here between the northeast and west. But anyway, uh, there, you, there you have it. That is the winter sky. So let's fast forward to the middle of May. Or sorry, this is April. And starting in the north, you can see uh, the Big Dipper much higher in the sky here. Gemini is still up here in the west. And Orion is just starting to set in the evening sky. To the south, you've got Leo. It's probably the most prominent uh, constellation up here. Southeast, we've got Virgo. To the east, uh, Hercules is just starting to come up. This is a great one to see um, M13, which is a globular cluster here in Hercules. And back to north. All right, now July. So in July, um, Hercules is high in the sky here near the zenith. We've got uh, Cygnus the Swan here. Really interesting um, star here is Alberio, which is a double star. One is, uh, I think, a blue giant and a yellow or gold giant, and uh, side by side. Really cool to look at in the telescope. Um, Big Dipper is still up. Of course, everything revolves around the North Pole, so most of the stuff is still going to be here all year. To the west, um, we've got Virgo and Booties and Corona Borealis. To the south, um, I can never say this one, but I guess this is the new uh, symbol in whatever that pseudoscience is. Um, I can't even say it. Astrology. They added Ophiuchus as the new sign, and that is actually uh, my sign because of where my birthday falls. Anyway, uh, Scorpius is visible in the summer. Again, Hercules is high in the sky, to the east. Again, we're back to seeing Cygnus and, and whatnot in that direction. All right. And in November, let's see what we got here. Cassiopeia is back. We're nearing the winter. Um, to the west, Orion is not quite up yet. Uh, but we've got Pegasus, Pisces to the south. Uh, Cetus, I don't know much about that constellation. Um, east, you've got Taurus and Gemini here is just, uh, uh, coming. oh, Orion is coming up here in the east, never mind. Um, you can see it at 10 o'clock at night. And back to north, 
So anyway, that's a very spastic tour of the constellations throughout the year. Um, but I hope this helps answer your question. Um, feel free to uh, add comments on Quora. Thank you very much.